Okay, so first, keywords and how to find them. I'm going to go through a couple of examples of how you can find them. But before you go into that, it's really a good idea to just go back and understand the right keywords that people use to find services like yours online. It's not just about the internal keywords. It's not just about maybe SKUs or um, manufacturer part codes, which are useful. And it's certainly worth having those um, considered as keywords if you've got products. But also thinking about keywords and how, how customers would describe your product or service when they're trying to find it online, because that's what they're going to use. They're not going to use any internal language. I've got a couple of very, very simple examples here of how someone might search for an accountant. They could just put in the word accountant, um, and that's a, um, a very broad term. It's probably not something that people might use, although Google does a good job of uh, trying to localize a lot of broad keywords by applying uh, location information about where you are now, if you're mobile or um, where your Wi-Fi connection is, and then applying accountants who are in that particular area. You're more likely to be specific. So someone might put Sirencester accountants or accountant Sirencester or accountants in Sirencester. There's different ways of phrasing it. Um, they may also be specific. So if they, if they don't know they need an accountant yet, but they just want some help, they might put how to prepare end of year accounts. Uh, I know that's probably quite a big job for some people, but maybe they're just starting up and they're looking at how they might go about doing that themselves. Now, as an accountant, you can just start trying to optimize your site for Sirencester accountants and accountants in Sirencester and try and capture people who are already looking for those broad keywords. But I think it's also worth looking for people who aren't quite ready for an accountant yet. They don't think they need one, maybe, yet. Um, and if you're able to put information out there that is helpful, useful, where you can provide value for those people who are searching, then these are your longer tail keywords. These are your ways of capturing people um, who are on the web, who are looking for information, but aren't quite ready to buy. Maybe they've even got an accountant, but they're looking, they're looking around and thinking, well, I'm not quite happy. Maybe I'll do it myself. If you're the accountant to write how to prepare your MDV accounts and give some guidance on that, then maybe you're the one to capture that particular traffic as well. If you found this podcast interesting, then you might like my marketing club. You can join for free to receive regular tips and advice so you can become more effective in marketing your business. Pro members get access to my live webinars every single month, along with all the previous webinars I've done. It's about two years worth now. There's even a podcast version that you can listen to while you walk the dog. You can find out more by visiting ratherinventive.com slash club. That's ratherinventive.com slash club. Bye for now.